and welcome to a brand new episode of Black, White, and Red All Over. I'm Victor Dandridge. Ryan Seymour. Dude, did we have a week? Oh my goodness. It's a five week month, right? It's five right? Wednesdays. It's supposed to be 20% of the books, not oh. all the awesome, just bad. Awesome. I mean, look, next week is the fifth week. Yes. A lot of times publishers don't count for fifth weeks. So here they are. They're like, oh, there's only four <laughs> weeks in everything. In January? Else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and if it wasn't for the suggestions, we would be hurting right now. Yeah. Thank you guys yes. for throwing out some suggestions. Yeah. We definitely tackled a couple of them. Yes, especially Raven. That was like the one where the what? We got mad. Like, yes, three people. Like, Raven, people like, Raven, Raven, Raven. Yeah. If you don't do Raven, you're cut off. And we're not cut off because yeah, we, no, we did. We did. We did Raven. Um, in fact, uh, we got all three the same. Yes. I say let's start with Raven. Yes. So Marv Wolfman. Yes. Okay, like. Iconic writer. Right? Like, I mean, creator of Raven. Yeah. Yes. That's what I always thought. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Bring him um, in. I never say Yannick's last name correct. Yes. Is I, it Paquette? I think it's Paquette. Okay, Paquette. Like Baguette, Paquette. Paquette. I'm just going to make that work. Yeah. Um, this was interesting. Yes. So, fully realized world. Yes. We're being introduced to it. Yes. Just kind of supposed to just go. Uh, yeah. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad. Um, it's got a little bit of humor. It does have some humor. It does have some humor. This one, okay. I feel, I feel, a little. Mm, how do I, how do I say this? Because there are things that I liked. Yes. There are things that I feel might be a hint dated. Yes. But it's Marv Wolfman, so you just go with you it. You just go. Like yeah. this is classic. You yeah. don't. It's yeah. like if. If Picasso was painting like Picasso paintings now, you don't go, well, that's your old stuff. You're like, I'm Picasso. I, this is what I do. This is, uh, this is, you, you're familiar with this, my work. This is why yeah. I am Picasso. Yeah. Um, all right, so let me ask you this. If you mm -hmm. are a Raven fan, is this a must read? Yeah, and I think it, I think it, it branches a couple different generations of mm -hmm. readers. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. It's it is dark, right? But if you're going from like a kid to a tween, and you know, like Teen Titans Go, you this can pick this up. You're right. Uh, if you're just kind of ancillarily familiar with the Titans, right, right, pick it up. If you're a fan Good. of Wolfman and, and, and of a certain age with you know gray hair about your face, um, or not, if you use just for men or ladies, whatever the coloring choice you choose to use. Yeah. You can use that. I could recommend Raven also. Yes, yeah. indeed, indeed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's a good thing, that's a good thing. Um, yeah, I, I did like it. I mean, yeah. like I said, there's a couple of things that feels a little it, yeah. of a certain time period that we don't have anymore. Yeah. Um, but, not bad. I, yeah. Do you have to have been following Titans to catch this? Because I'm wondering I, that. It, yeah, because it feels a little bit displaced. Yeah. Because she's in it, this... It, 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 place that the story is doing the things and without spoiling right? anything um yeah because that's like I, I had the same question okay all right so it's not just me which is good which is good um oh oh which one which one um let's just descend down let's yeah, just, yeah. just 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 boom, follow boom, 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 how we put in the, in the rack. southern bastards yes oh the jasons oh you guys, the way you tell us, okay, yep. here's, here's the thing. Southern Bastards, mm -hmm. what's it about? Like as a series, what's it about? I, I don't know how. Because, right, yeah. Like there's not a set way, this is, this is the Seinfeld of comic books. Yeah. It's great, you don't know why it's great. Yeah. Because there's a lot of hateful, just terrible uh, stuff and people and but thoughts man. and ideologies. You love every part of right. it. Right. Because I found myself about halfway through right. just being like, yeah. And then if in, when you take a step back and you look at what you're you know, cheering you're for, dead. you're like, what <laughs> the I'm a bad person. Yeah. No. This is a bad person. No. Bad things are happening. But like he's the anti-hero. But it, it and, for, yet, yeah. and yet, look, I'm saying in this book may have the second greatest inspirational speech just under the president from Independence Day. Yeah. Just under. Cause, like, cause uh, it was epic. I mean, that's how you, you want to motivate somebody? That's how you do it. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to figure out which of my kids. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, I got to figure this out. Yeah. Man. I got to figure out how I can motivate just like this. Yeah. 
complicated. Yeah, it's, it's complicated. complicated. Legal, <laughs> yeah, legal yeah, issues and ramifications. Ensue. Some structures yeah. involved. Yeah. But dang it, I guess yeah. stuff would get done. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> it did because it was like the, there was a, yes. a moment of bonding. Dude, it was amazing. Like you saw it happen. It was like. It was like the Avengers call went up, the <laughs> the Thundercat signal hit the sky, and the Rebs were like, "Roll Tide, do it, yeah. do it, yeah. right there." That was a great moment. Yeah, it was. was a great moment. Um, the errands, man. I uh, separately, they're given a lot of love. Collectively, I don't think that they're given enough. No, this book does not sell as many copies as it should. That is stupid, stupid. It's, this this is why comics have evolved mm -hmm. in the way that they have. Yeah. This is this is why. So we could get here. Yeah. Um, ah. Because it it hits on racism. It yes. hits on sexism. It yes. hits hits on what it means to be a good guy versus a bad guy. Yeah, absolutely. Like it's just all over the place. And this is really like one of the best commentaries on what life is like where even even the worst of us yes. has some nobility yes you have to find it you yeah. got to dig for it yeah but it's there because no one seems yeah. to be innately one thing or the other yeah not innately good not innately bad yeah just trying to get by yeah habitat it's oh. yeah it's just so good and I, we're, who's that person that's at the end do i now yes we've seen that dude we've seen him We've seen him. Yeah. We've got to go back, like, some issues. And this is one of the biggest problems with yeah. the Southern Bastards coming out so sporadically, you do lose track. But yeah. we've seen that dude before, and him and Coach have a thing. Oh. They have a thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now so, I recall. Yeah, the enemy of my enemy, screw you, is my st it's still my enemy, yeah. don't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's it's good stuff. Yeah. It's good stuff. Um... It's next in the sequence. Doomsday Clock number three. Jeff Johns, Gary Frank, mm -hmm. DC Comics. Yeah, now a bi-monthly. Oh. Like officially. Oh, oh, oh. Um, this one, mm -hmm. I don't want to say took a turn, but it solidified something yes. for me. Yes. This is going to be huge. Mm -hmm. Not just minor incursion. No. And no, no. this big, is big, big, big. At some point in the future, are people going to be looking for copies of number one because that's the first appearance of absolutely the greatest romantic couple? Oh, oh and we oh finally yes we did yes we did that sequence was amazing. Oh, listen, all of you Harley Joker shippers, cut it out. You Stop. Got it's done. Nothing. It's done. Yeah. I don't even. You know what? If I don't see this cosplayed at the next three shows, I don't want to see none of y'all. None of y'all. Because every Harley I see, yeah, I'm dogging. Because it's nothing. Like Harley and Joker, they're the pop music. They, oh, <laughs> this is like so true. REM That's before so tr anybody liked them. This is, yes. This is what they are. Yes. This is this is hardcore hip hop. Yeah. This is, we're not talking about this mumble rap stuff. This is hardcore <laughs> hip hop right here. <laughs> this is. Hat to the back, you ah. <clears throat> KRS One even. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. KRS One has a tattoo yeah. of them on his body somewhere. Um, that's just <laughs> that's what. Look, no spoilers, but y'all gotta know the mime and marionette. Oh. Whatever the whatever the opposite of a joke is. <laughs> that's, that is what, that's what that is. Listen, that's relationship goals. Okay, I'm gonna say yeah. that right now. All the times people are like Harley and Joker relationship goals. Stop no, that. That's no. abusive and it's wrong. This. That's. That's. <laughs> this is yeah. yeah right here. Yeah. Um, I, okay. I almost feel like at the end of this series, mm -hmm. Jeff Johns retires. What else? It, what do you do? What, after what do you do? This? Like yeah. Yeah. Because. Yeah. I mean, you've I got. Mean, you've got that. You've, right. You've merged two universes, multiple times because you know, like his his run with like right? Blackest Night. Yes. Uh, his yes. architect of the DCU. Right. And then you got this. Like, like, I'm almost wondering, like, if Jeff Johns is, like, secretly trying to tell us that Alan Moore is really his dad. And, like, <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's trying to earn your respect, Alan. You need to give it to him, man. Give him your respect and your name. Because that's, that's, come you, on. You were wrong, Dad. Come on, man. Like, this is real. He is putting some magic down in your honor. 
and it's and it's legit. Like it really, it is, it's dude. not just someone saying like, oh, okay, it's a sequel to Watchmen, buy it. Like it's it's legit story. Yo, like the way at first, like you know, I was looking at the stuff in the background is like this very, yeah. meh, you know, this ancillary. Okay, cute. They're doing it like Watchmen. Yeah. But this one felt heavier. Yeah, like a lot heavier. And yeah, it's. I mean, it's up there. It's so up there with the pirate stories. Like yeah. Yeah. And I think they're also weaving in. Yes. Yeah. Yes, they are. Which, yes, uh, they are. Um, this one will definitely spark questions. Yes. You know, if it doesn't, what are you doing with your life? I don't yeah. even know. Um, but man, is it good. Yeah. Man. And each issue has been better than the one before. I agree. And I, I agree. I keep, and it, I keep waiting for the next issue to suck. Like, I keep waiting to get... Secret Wars I, or, yes, or something yeah, like that. Because it's just, just like, okay, well, here's where they're aping it. Yeah, oh, um, they just hasn't, dig hasn't it deeper yet. and deeper. And it's yeah. I tell you what, literally, I don't know what moment I like the best out of this one. I mean, that's obviously the relationship one yeah. was great, but where it ends, yeah. that's a move. Yeah. And considering what sparked that, understood. Right. I understand that. Yeah. I definitely understand that. The, the, that first part where you're like, oh, okay. Right. And then you're like, I get it now. This is exactly yeah. why. That's unique. Yeah. You know, that wasn't supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. um, and is one thing mm -hmm. the reason for the other thing, mm. which is triggering all that stuff? Ooh. That's a good question. There's more time. Yeah. That's a good question. That's a good question. All these. Mm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> And this is why this is actually one of the best series to come out in a very long yeah. time because it actually begs questions. Mm -hmm. you, you can't help but read this and want to know. Yeah. Good job. Good job. Oh, man, I need to take a second. I need a moment. You yeah. go ahead. You, you know, take some time out. Do some honorable mentions. Honorable mentions. All right, so honorable mention wise, yes. nothing. Not even close. The same. Not like, even we close. just go. Yeah. All over. Different titles, I different mean, you, publishers. You tackled some really fun things. I'm mm -hmm. a little jealous. I I had personal motivations. Here. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I took on Inhumans Judgment Day number one. Yep. Um, I don't know if this is going to be a series. Mini. Is it a mini? Yep. Okay. Um, it's Ewing, though. So right? I kind of had to. I mean, it's Inhumans. It's Ewing. Ugh. Um, I didn't finish Once in Future Kings, and I feel like I needed to in order to get all of this. Yeah. So definitely make sure that you read all of that series because I do believe that there's a tie-in. I really do. Um, but there are some very interesting changes in the future for the Inhumans. Okay. I am very curious about it. Um, we know that after, was it IVX? Oh, that's, <laughs> that's seizure. Yeah. Um, there is no more Terran Genesis. Yes. You know, so what is next? Yeah. I believe that's what you know was set up previously, and this is kind of carrying that through. Very, very interesting. Um, again, two of my favorite couples in all of comics, Black Bolt and Medusa. Um, they're not together right now, but they're still my favorite couple. Yeah. I just gotta keep it real. Yeah, yeah just got to. Del Mundo and artwork, because he's amazing, just for the record. Weird, weird world, it's yes. hard to say, yeah. but I love it. Um, I just got that trade not too long ago, and. Yes, one one of the, the the bright spots to come out of yes. that. Uh, yes, it was debacle. Yes, it was. All right, so what do you got? That, that was a toughie. Mm -hmm. I will mm -hmm. start with Backways. Okay. okay. Aftershock. It's number two. Yes. Uh, it, it for those that may not have read the first one. Shame uh, on you. Shame. The book was awesome. Yeah, like magical. Like like actually, that's the plot behind it. Right? It's magic. Um, teenage girl goes looking for her friend who has gone missing. And is and is caught up in this this sequence of events right. in, a, in a magical like dark underworld. Um, in this issue, they fill a lot of like all the questions they ask, like, well, how how does that work? How does okay. this work? They answer a lot of those questions. Nice world building. That's important. Yep. And then about two thirds of the way through, you get to the plot twist about who she is and how she fits into it, which then just kickstarts it. So that like the this issue solidifies everything. Okay. Has me looking forward to issue three. The, the art is cool. It's got like this kind of a manga kind of yeah. feel to it. Um, the story is is trippy, but it's like understandable trippy. Okay. So okay. so I'm digging that. Um, it's one I definitely I I would 
because I can steal for myself. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, this is one I'm taking to my, my oldest daughter, Tierna, to read because I think this is just right up her alley. See, I was just gonna just gonna bring that back. Yeah. Are they maintaining the the kind of teen tween vibe yeah. here? Yeah, yeah, still very cool. still very tweeny. Okay, okay. So yeah. that's good stuff, man. Yeah. I I love when. Uh, you know, publishers are aiming for those different markets. That's yeah. so very important. If yeah. we don't cultivate those, yeah, we lose nothing, nothing grows from there. Right? And uh, again, shout out to Aftershock. They yep. won some big things yeah. recently. Yeah, the Diamond Award. Yeah, like, yes. not saying that we knew, but we knew. We were not you shocked. Were, you know, I know, that was such a good yeah, that was, it was, it was. did that one, I was like, good job. Damn Lisa. it. <laughs> why didn't I think of that? This is why I don't get to work for y'all yet. I'm not at that level, but next time. Just a matter of time. Exactly, exactly. Um, okay, so speaking of Fallout from Secret Wars and yes. all that, um, I had to take on The Thing and Human Torch number two. Yeah. Uh, I really enjoyed what the first one was. I, I did. Yeah. Uh, it's Chip Sadarsky, uh, Jim Chung. Um, right. This is fun. If you've missed The Fantastic Four as yeah. much as I have, uh, you need this. And, yeah. and recently I went back and I started reading Hickman's Run again yeah. just because so good. It is, it's phenomenal. Yeah. I'm kind of mad you don't have FF uh, Volume 1, because I, I need that one, and I realized late that I need it. Before anyone says anything, I'm ordering it. Um, but if you've missed the Fantastic Four, this is the series for you. I, I've said it before, mm -hmm. I will say it again, conspiracy theorist in me, they knew that Disney and Marvel Studios was getting them back, yeah. because this is so setting up the return, it makes me happy, yeah. oh my god. What's the first family of Marvel? I mean, come on. Yeah. We can't even... We, you can't end, like, Infinity War and not have the Fantastic Four. Right. War. I mean, that's just wrong. Yeah. I can't wait for that, that post-credit scene. I'm just projecting. I'm just projecting that whatever happens, somehow a rift opens, and here comes... That'd be amazing. Just don't throw that out there. That'd be sweet. Right? Like, like a legit after <laughs> like, credits thing that just would table flip. Like, yes. I mean, you're just like, I can't wait for two years. Yeah. Like, it would just be great. So, Very, very much mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. Okay. This was also a suggestion, which, which gave me the pretense to read it, even well, though I was going to. You were going to read yeah. that anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so, Valiant. Ninja K. All right, number three. Uh, first two issues still available, even even if your shop is sold out. Have them reorder it. It's still, still in stock. Do it, do it now. So we're a little bit further into the conspiracy. So there's a conspiracy right. within the conspiracy oh. within the ninja thing for MI6. And the reason that the person that we thought was a bad guy was right. doing stuff, this entire issue is him explaining to him what's happening. And now I'm like, dude, Ninja K got to go on a killing spree with this guy. Whoa. Yeah. And it's just it, this whole, whole reason, and it makes sense. And it's, it's one of those things like, yeah, why wouldn't? A group with that kind of power and that kind of need for control, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. why wouldn't they do this stuff? And they did. Yeah, it's it. so it's brutal, it. and it's got a ninja with a flamethrower. Like, like come what, on, what do you like? What like, do you want? Take your nunchucks and shove it. Yeah, I've got flamethrower coming out of my wrist. Like, yeah, come on. Like, I will ninja it, kick it, you yeah, with it's flame. Just, like, it's, that is, oh, that's a gorgeous looking. Yeah, book. it's amazing, and just people just getting <sighs> brutalized, and yeah. So. I love that they have totally re, like, revamped and revitalized the Ninjak franchise. Yeah. Like, that's, that you know, is so dope. Yeah, you can jump in right now. Just pick up issue one, go, and you're, you don't need to know. You didn't have to read the issue that came out years and years ago with a like, real cool like, right? stained the glass cover. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I recommend picking it up, but you don't of course. have to. Yeah. Which is good, which is good. Man, oh my God, this has been awesome. Thank you guys for all your yeah. suggestions. That was really important. Yep. Um, and obviously, thank you to the new subscribers. Yes. Let's, let's shout them out. Let's yeah. see. We've got Spawned Love. That's romantic. Yeah, I like kind of is. I like that. Grandma Linda. Hey, shout out. I wonder if Grandma Linda makes cookies. Maybe. I don't know, can you be known as Grandma if you don't make cookies? I don't, I don't know. Let us know. Test, test know. that, test yeah. that. Uh, Louis Fomby. How you doing, Louis? What's up, what's yep. up? And last but certainly not least, Michael Donner. What Welcome up? Welcome aboard, Mike. What up? Yep. Um, definitely tell your friends. Yep. Uh, let them know how amazing we are. And uh, if you are brand new to the show, yep. hit the subscribe button yep. so that you get it. And then hit that bell 
so you get the notification. Yeah, and then you get to hear from us once a week with really, really cool stuff about comics. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. if you're one of these new subscribers and you're like, I was watching the magic stuff, or you don't know, we also do a lot of magic stuff. We yeah. have our, our, pod, our, our podcast. The guys from At, at Your End Stuff, right. they have their podcast up there. Uh, we do unboxings, we do streamings, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. and also comic stuff. Oh, yeah. So it's, a, it's like a one-stop geek shop, man. Yeah. That's what we do. Pretty much. Comic Towns, where pop culture lives. Mm -hmm. What?